morning. Finally, got my hands on the Bagnold and Eld pistol type grip sun compass. It's a pretty amazing little thing. It's like fruit wood handle, like they would have done. I still do on some of the um, old chisels and that you know, that you buy from donkey's years old. Put the engineering on this little, you can call it a pocket device really, because it's that small. Obviously the sun's not uh, bright enough today to try and get a cast a shadow to show you how it uh, possibly works. I can't say I'm 110 percent with it myself but uh, the dial itself spins round as you can see. It's blade on it it's set to 360 degrees. But, uh, it's cute as hell. It reminds me of, uh, as daft as it sounds, reminds me of being back in the cadets with the old Lee Enfield rifle because the working parts of them were so simple but cleverly engineered. So this device then, I'll try and do it with uh, one hand, it all folds up. can see and then this folds back into the handle like that and it literally is small as hell but I did think that um, the Royal Geographic Society was painted on the marking at the back here moment up it's not it's engraved and that kind of font that they're using there it's the same kind of font that you would have seen used on many items around the 30s 40s 50s but this is amazing to think that possibly Ralph Bagnold himself again possibly was using this on his Libyan exhibition exhibition expedition sorry not expedition sorry about the camera but yeah And that um, you know, somewhere on the line, you would have been sighting through this, casting the shadow, getting a quick fix, and off they would have been going in their old uh, clunkety clunkety cars that were stripped down to nothing but wheels, seats, and carrying fuel. I say this, this is amazing. To think it's been locked away for God knows how many years in somebody's collection is um, it's a crime because nobody knows about it. Here. Other than a, one mention in a paragraph in a book so far, in a journal, that's about as much people know about it. But it's. Uh, it's brilliant. Right, that's it folks. Bagnold and Eld Sun Compass. Possibly only the one left out of how many that was made. There must have been more than one because it's numbered number one, but at least five probably, but whether or not they ever resurface is a different matter, but a bit of navigational history in my hand here. 
the late great Ralph A. Bagnold invention. How cool is that, eh?